Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to make a real quick video based on something that just happened this week. Uh, this is sort of an open letter to Pete Davidson. Hey Pete, I uh, just wanted to say uh, you beefed it. You beefed it up real bad and you did a bad thing. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, on Monday he was doing a show at the University of Central Florida and apparently there were some people recording in the front row on their phones, so he started going on a rant. Now, calling out people for recording on their phones during a show, that's not inherently bad. Unfortunately, Pete pretty much reacts in the worst way possible. He insults the entire crowd, he insults the venue, he talks down to them like they're children, he basically just loses his temper for at least a minute and a half. Pete, all you had to do was just be like, hey, come on, come on, put away your phones, what are you doing? Come on, let's all have fun here. We can have fun without our phones for an hour. Come on, come on. You could have had fun with it. You could have made jokes. You could have kept it light. The ironic thing is because you went on such a long rant about people recording on their phones, you just encouraged more people to start recording you on their phones because they want to preserve this celebrity meltdown. Let me read you some snippets here. Whenever somebody else comes to your fucking town and wants to perform and is exhausted and flies all the way to the middle of fucking nowhere to do jokes for you little privileged assholes, don't fucking ruin the show for people who actually want to be here. And I get that. I get the part where you're talking about recording. That can ruin the show for some people. But you know what ruins the show for everybody? When you insult the entire crowd and then also the university. You can't come back from that. You can't insult the venue and then expect to continue with the set. And here's another thing you won't be able to do. Try and play the sympathy card while you're insulting them. Like nobody cares that you're exhausted from the tour now. You can't start burning a bridge and then try to walk through the area that you just started burning. Does that make sense? Pete also said, that's why the world is going to end in 25 years because you're all fucking... I don't want to say that word. Yep, that's why the world is going to end because people record shows on their phones sometimes. You, nail you nailed it, Pete. Really, when you bring up the inevitable heat death of the universe, that really puts the whole someone was recording the show on their phone thing in perspective. So yeah, in my opinion, uh, you really goofed it. But if you're not going to take my word for it, then you should at least know that Tommy Laren agrees with you. She dedicated part of her show to defending you. Is that not the biggest reddest flag imaginable where you have a Fox News correspondent going to bat for you? Tommy said, listen, I don't approve of his word choices, and he may have overreacted a little bit. Oh gee, you fucking think? But he makes a good point, and a point those in my generation need to hear. The only good point he made was, when you're at a live show, don't pull out your phone and record. That is it. Everything else is immediately disposable. And the fact that he called the audience a bunch of privileged assholes? I would say Pete is also pretty privileged, considering how he can go on stage, insult everybody, and keep his job. He can't do that shit in retail. Like, can you imagine if Pete Davidson tried to pull that shit at a customer service job? He wouldn't last half a day. I don't know, man. He just way overreacted and was way more hostile and aggressive than the situation called for. And I am just hoping that John Mulaney is going to be able to talk some sense into him. John Mulaney is the best thing to happen to Pete Davidson within the past year. He was there for Pete when he threatened suicide on Instagram. And while this situation, of course, is no way as dire, I'm just hoping that Mulaney can just have a one-on-one -on -one with Pete, because it feels like that's what he needs the most right now. But that's going to do it for this video. Again, I had nothing planned. I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit. I want to give a quick shout out to Mitch Halley and Darian Bagnato for signing up to my Patreon. I'm going to leave that link down below if you want to help support my channel. You get cool perks like getting my videos a day early, and the first people who sign up get a shout out from me, regardless of what tier you choose. It's as little as a dollar a month, and I promise it's worth it because it's me. Have a good day, John Butter fandom.